Oh, this door's actually locked behind me when I came in here. I guess I have to go the other way through this new path that's opened up. And this is just an elevator anyway, so it should take me all the way back up to where I need... Oops, sorry, I just shut you out, Valentine. Oh, well, you'll probably pop into the elevator in a moment. Yeah, there you go. Alright, just need to wait for the long ride up then. Alright, up on the roof, don't need to worry about security or turrets or anything like that because I've completely destroyed them all. Oh, what's that searchlight? Oh! Well, okay then. So I guess these guys have come to town. Uh, Valentine, what are you talking about? Hey, do something for you? Hey, Valentine. Looks like you got something to say. Oh, well, actually, it looked like you had something to say. You just started quoting poetry or something. Your thoughts? Flying that ship into the heart of the Commonwealth. Mark my words. The Brotherhood's here to start a war. Well, all right then. Oh, nothing. Got it. Okay, and it said that a new military frequency had been found, so let's check that out as well. Repeating. This is Paladin Dance on frequency 95. All Brotherhood of Steel units are to return to the Cambridge Police Station immediately for reassignment. Well, okay then. Um, well, seeing as we need to go to Piper anyway and get her to help us find out where the Institute is, because she has extra insight into that, and seeing as the Sanctuary is where I've sent Piper, and Paladin Dance, or whatever his name was, He's like halfway between here and Piper. I guess I'll just pay him a little visit and see what's going on with these guys. And if he's got any cool missions for me to do. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Alright, so there's definitely more people here. Looks like the Brotherhood of Steel have arrived. And yeah, I just spent some time going around, trading, selling a bunch of stuff. Look at these burn marks. You must have spent a whole case of ammo holding this site. Suppose that means we missed all the fun. No one's gonna move on this place now that the Pridwin's in town. Hi. Hey. Paladin Dance is waiting for you inside, recruit. Okay, just talk to Paladin Dance then. None of you have anything to say. Uh, <clears throat> Especially if you have my help. Cavalry's arrived. And it looks like they sent in the big guns. Yeah, they're not exactly subtle, are they? The Brotherhood isn't exactly subtle when it makes an entrance. There's no reason to be subtle when you have that in your arsenal. We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. 
Well, who's that? Who's Elder Maxon? Maxon? Man's a lunatic. Maxon is the commander of this division of the Brotherhood of Steel. He's the model of what every Brotherhood soldier hopes to become. If we're going to war, I can promise you that he'll be leading the charge. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. Um, really? So, Valentine tells you that they're a lunatic, and you say, yep, that's what we all strive to be. And I've, I've been helping you out. Like, I've, I've done like two missions for them, two tiny little missions, and now I'm one of their main guys and I'm gonna be doing this big mission with them and the leader wants to speak with me for whatever reason I mean all right hopefully I don't majorly disappoint we'll see I'll just steal absolutely everything as I make my way up we're here to save the Commonwealth excuse me taking down the Institute should be easy now that Elder Maxon's calling the shots Oh, you want to take down the Institute? Well, that's great then. So do I. Oh, wow. I'm going to be taking a ride on that thing. And that's a Gatling gun. Alright. I, I was starting to wonder if these big ships were just for show or if they had some heavy-duty weapons on board. Okay, I was a little worried if I walked into that sort of plasma vents thing, I'd be incinerated, but nope, I'm perfectly fine. Alright, let's get on this thing. Oh, you don't have to tempt me. Aww. Well, okay. I suppose I can't just shout out, get some, get some, and just let her rip on everything that moves. The Commonwealth looks different from up here, doesn't it? It never ceases to amaze me how drastically your perception of the battlefield changes from the air. We're going to need that edge when we take on the Institute. They've already proven that they're technologically superior, which means there's no telling what types of weapons they'll have in their arsenal. Hopefully, our air superiority and tactical know-how will make now all we have to do is find them. And I'm betting that Elder Maxon will have a plan already in place by the time we arrive. Seriously though, why am I helping out on this? You just said that you've brought in the cavalry. That giant dropship brought in a ton of troops. Everyone down there believed in our cause. But they've been blinded by rumours and misinformation. They don't realise that the Brotherhood of Steel is the Commonwealth's last hope for survival. Every man child below is in mortal danger if we fail. It's only a matter of time before the enemy overwhelms the population. Cleansing the Commonwealth is our duty, and I will gladly spill my own blood if it ensures our victory. Yeah, they've brought in hundreds of troops in that giant ship, and they're getting some guy they barely even know to help them out. Yeah, all right. How long is this going to take? Jeez, I'm in this big jet thing and it's barely moving. Getting some nobody that's been wandering across the wastelands to help in this high priority mission. And as I'm going across this map, I can still see a few little glitches. I mean, that looked like a glitch just then, but it wasn't. That's just from the vent thing that's coming out of there. Yeah, seeing a few tiny little glitches every now and then. There she is. It's been far too long since I've been aboard. All right, soldier. This is the moment when everything changes. I hope you're ready. Is that the same one that I saw before? Because it looked a lot more grand when I was further down on the ground. Up here, it just looks like a slightly big blimp. 
nowhere near as monstrous as it looked at from before. Might be a completely different one, not sure. And was this entire section just for me traveling here? I think it might have been. Didn't even get to shoot anything. I'll probably cut out a minute of two of pointless flying. Alright. Let's talk to this guy then. Permission to come aboard, sir? Permission granted. Welcome back, madam. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I have field promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxim's approved your request and placed the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the Pridwin and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Covenant. You just gonna walk into the shot? Alright. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. Well, I am dressed like a barbarian. And yeah, looks can be deceiving. Looks Especially since I've killed a million things across the wastelands. Insist on scrutinizing every recruit who boards this vessel. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear: the Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel. I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? Ah, <sighs> yeah, fine. Oh, all those mountains in the background just blinking in and out. That's fine, that's fine. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Um, let's just see if I get another suit of power armor for no reason whatsoever. Where can I get power armor? Only knights are allowed to wear Brotherhood power armor. And you're no knight. Not yet. Until Elder Maxon grants you that title, you'll have to make do with what you've got. Anything else? Well, I actually have a full set of power armor back home. I'm just waiting until I have all of my armoring abilities fully upgraded so then I can go out with it, just be a damn superhero and destroy anything in my path. I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Yeah, all right. I don't like you either. Um... Yeah, let's ignore most of this and just get to the mission. Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our mission beneath the Commonwealth. There is a cancer, known as the Institute. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies. Alright, so I just cut out a couple minutes of this guy, basically reiterating the same thing we've heard everyone saying across the wastelands. Synths are bad, and we should probably get rid of them. That's the entire gist of his conversation. Alright, let's actually I talk to him now. Them. The people of the Commonwealth. Um, okay, good for you. Uh, we've only just met, and it sounds like you're going to pour out your heartfelt, lifelong story, which I'm not really in the mood for. Um, I, I, I don't know why. I, I don't know why I'm like this. Life isn't an easy one, but it rarely lacks for excitement. I know, Valentine, you've told me before. I don't know why I'm like this, but I, I like the Brotherhood of Steel, but I also don't like them. No idea why. Conflicting. Anyway. Elder Maxon, I care about them, you know. The people of the... Yeah, so uh, you're preparing for war, are you? Care about them? 
thought we were preparing for war. The Brotherhood is here to prevent a war by starting one of our own. The difference oh, that is makes sense. our war won't reduce civilization to ashes. I think it's just because they're so high and mighty and just wanting to preserve technology and hoarding it from them. But, uh, they, they've got the interests of the Commonwealth at heart, sort of, but they mostly just come across as very high-tech raiders. I don't know. I, li I like I being a part of them. But I'd appreciate your attention. Shut up. Ah, uh, I don't know. Anyway, so, um... What do you want? What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet. To start making a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, you've already begun that journey. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. Jesus, that was easy. I mean, the pacing on this is a lot different to Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas. There's no training for your power armor, there's no earning it, it's just... Well, here you go. I'll do my best. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. You just put your hand through your coat. Alright, so I have a brand new set of power armor that I'll probably never use. I'll just upgrade the one back at the sanctuary up to full, get it to max stats, and then I'll just use that one forever. Anyway, Paladin Dance. Let's talk. Paladin Dance. There you are. How did it go with Elder Max? Um, are you going to turn to me? Yes, you are. And honestly, I phased out for most of the conversation with him, hardly even remember him. He's dedicated. A nice, safe answer. He's a very dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. Well, I won't screw up then, will I? I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. Oh, you're just gonna walk into the frame and then start pushing me around? Okay. You need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Um... Well, seeing as I'm gonna be talking to a bunch of Brotherhood guys, Hopefully, doing that will make him like me really, really quickly. So yeah, you can come along with me, Valentine. I will pick you up later. Sounds good. Let's go. Outstanding. So Valentine, you can go to Sanctuary Hills with all the other guys. I don't know how you're going to get off of this ship, but that's for you to figure out. And it sounds like I just need to talk to a bunch of people, so this is definitely the talking episode. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? Um, yeah, as ready as I'll ever be. Sure, go right ahead. All right, I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question: As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? Um, really? This isn't a very extensive exam if you're just asking me questions. No blood samples or anything? Alright, guess I'll make up my own backstory then. There wasn't that much radiation around before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? What? Let, let me check my notes. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? None of these people seem too nonplussed that I'm 200 years old at least. And I have never been sick. Never been seriously sick in my life. Good. 
Good. Third question. And please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? No. Uh, no. Never have. Very well. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? No, I've been killing people all across the wastelands. Nope. No problem whatsoever. Excellent. You'll fit in quite well around here. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Alright, next person. Quinlan? Ah, oh, good. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. I'm not here about the books. I think you're confusing me with someone else. Hmm. Perhaps I need to rummage through the supply bins for a new pair of glasses. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Uh, I'm supposed to be meeting the crew. Maxon wanted me to meet the crew, so you were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. I could help, you know. Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Alright, fair enough. Um, it seems like all of these are just talking to people and getting either really small mini-missions. No, there's a little kitty. Hello. Yeah, either getting really small mini-missions or just talking for the sake of talking and not getting anything from it. So, I'll probably cut the other ones out if nothing actually happens. Oh, little kitty. Okay, let me go talk to the others.